I'm Sufjan Saidi, and I ride gravel. Competitively, but quite a specific sort of gravel. I choose to ride the kind of gravel events that take multiple days, where you're carrying everything you need, and you're usually in the wilderness. These sorts of gravel events are generally known as ultra distance, and they're a type of bike packing. This is one thing you learn about gravel riding, the amount of ways it can be interpreted. You've got social gravel events with open start times following marked or unmarked routes, and maybe even with beers and hot tubs at the finish. It could be a one day ride, a weekend with a tent, or several days moving from point to point. Then there's the gravel grind sort of events. These were initially limited to America, but now the Nordic countries are getting in on the scene, making the most of their long stretches of easy going gravel that's perfect for charging along. Not all gravel races focus on riding hard the whole way. Some have enduro style time sections, which allows you to be social between the segments. It's a good compromise for those who like the buzz of going fast, but also appreciate good company along the way. At the speedy end of the scale, you have competitive gravel racing. With four gas racing across the world, the UCL World Series is perhaps the highest level there is. Most riders taking part are trying to qualify for a place at the Gravel World Championships at the end of the season. Competitive or not, gravel events take place over a wide range of distances. Although, once you pass a couple of hundred kilometers, you're straying back into my world of ultra-distance gravel. No matter what type of gravel riding you love doing, you should be able to find an event that will suit you. Whether you prefer riding at party pace or race pace, Gravel events are a great way of riding with like-minded people and getting to explore somewhere new.